this is how I play the game! And then we have Clint J.E. in the stream chat who says, Phil, I should go to a specialized doctor that specializes in allergies. They can do special tests so they can tailor their treatment to me. All right, so please send me the check for $2,000. So that I can do that because United States Healthcare doesn't cover it. My healthcare only covers regular doctor visits to my primary care physician. That's it. Um, I'd be lucky if they'd even do a copay on a specialist doctor visit. And I'd be lucky if they would even cover any kind of medication that's not just like a standard medication for something. Yeah, American healthcare is garbage, especially for me, because I am self-employed, so I don't have any kind of a health plan under, say, an established employer that gets good healthcare. I'm paying pretty much, I believe right now at this point, it's around $300 a month for a healthcare plan that barely covers yearly checkups. If you want to send me a check for $2,000 to pay for this out-of-pocket visit, that, so that's exactly what it'll be. Probably the visit will cost anywhere $500 to $1,000. Um... Any medications, and I know I know this for a fact, any medications will probably cost around three to five hundred dollars a pop, meaning for one filling of the prescription. Um, and I'm sure the tests oh god, you want me to take tests? Tests, you actually mentioned testing. Two years ago when my foot was all swollen up, I had to have a blood test and an x-ray. So let me give you some perspective here. A year ago my foot was swollen up. I went to the doctor. She didn't know what it was. She thought she did know, but you had to take tests. So I had a blood test done. I had an x-ray done. And then she prescribed a medication for my foot to stop the swelling. After I was done paying, I had spent, and I'm not exaggerating here, about $1,300 for this visit. And by the way, this visit was partially covered by my insurance. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. I'm not, this is not an exaggeration. I'm not sitting here trying to bitch. This is the truth about the American healthcare system right now. This is why it's so fucked for everyone, because no one's covered for anything. We get very limited, very basic coverage, and after that's all out-of-pocket expenses. And of course, you know, yes, there's a deductible, there's a limit. Sorry, I don't have $2,000 to cover the deductible, which is why I just asked for a check for that. Okay, so let's talk. What happened? Yesterday, I received a copyright strike against DSP Gaming in regards to two videos uh, in my Persona 5 playthrough. The videos in question did not go past the in-game embargo date that Atlas publicly set, which is November 19th. In fact, I'm still in October in the playthrough. And the videos in question were me fusing Personas in the Velvet Room, which if you actually read Atlas's first blog post from early April, they said that is 100% permitted. They actually called it out and said, if you want to do footage of the Velvet Room, go do it to your heart's content, you're fine. Okay? So I was 100%, according to what Atlas had publicly said to everyone, my videos were in the clear and I did nothing wrong, okay? Now the problem, the reason I was so worried about this is because getting a copyright strike against uh, my DSP Gaming channel sadly puts me in jeopardy of losing my partnership with my, my partnership network, Curse. Um, <clears throat> apparently YouTube has this new policy, I don't know if it's true or not, but YouTube has changed a lot of stuff recently. That if you have legitimate copyright strikes against your channel, that stick, meaning you tried to get it removed, it didn't get removed, and it's permanently there now until, you know, it runs out, which for YouTube, by the way, is three months. Uh, apparently, these partnership companies are basically saying, well, we can't be partnered with you anymore. We can't have you as a partner because YouTube has this policy that if you have a copyright strike, you can't have a partnership. Now, I don't know if that's true or not. This is just what I'm hearing. All right. Um... But I did check it out, and on Curse's actual, you know, fact, terms of service, all that, it does say, if you have legitimate copyright strikes, that they do have to terminate the partnership agreement. I was terrified, because as you guys know, I tried to go solo without an MCN, a partnership network, and with my own personal AdSense, and I did this for about a week. And guess what happened? My ad revenue plummeted by 50%. Again, not an exaggeration. I was making half as much doing a solo partnership, or a solo, excuse me, solo ad, solo AdSense, than when I was with a partnership company. Which is preposterous, I know, but it's true. Apparently these, these partnership companies are getting all of the great uh, advertisements. So if you're not with a partnership company, you're making half as much as everybody else on YouTube. Sorry, but I can't afford to pay my bills and do all the things I need to do if I'm making 50% less money. It just doesn't work, okay? So I was very, very nervous. 
that this was gonna happen. Okay. Yesterday I did a few things. Number one, when I got this copyright strike, I immediately put in counter notices against it, saying, no, this is baloney. He right here, I even sent in the counter notice, I sent the link to the blog post saying, here's your blog post, saying that everything I did is okay, so this is false. Okay. Uh, number two, <clears throat> I made the entire Persona 5 playthrough private. I had to, because who knew if there were more copyright strikes that they might try to, to issue against me, right? And then, I sent out a bunch of emails. First of all, I emailed Curse themselves to let them know the situation. I also emailed YouTube to let them know the situation. And then, overnight, I've actually finally found the email address for Atlas's PR department. And I have good news for everyone today, alright? Here's the good news. Here's the positive update for everyone, alright? I received several responses, <clears throat> okay? The first response I got back was actually from Curse themselves. Because, you know, Curse is the... I'm nervous. Are they going to drop me or whatever, okay? Here's the response I received. I'm not going to read it word for word, but I'll paraphrase. Curse basically said... <clears throat> Phil, we're well aware of this. In fact, you are not the first cursed partner to be affected. We've had many of our partners affected by these copyright strikes for Persona 5. The good news is one of is two things. Number one, most people who have done counter notifications, the copyright strike just got cleared up with no problem. Okay? So that's one. There you go. That's number one. Number two, they said if the strike doesn't get cleared up, curse will actually work to get it cleared up for me. Because they know it's false. Since they know it's baloney. Because, again, they've gone through this with many people over the past couple of months, and they don't know why it's happening, but they were definitely willing to help get it cleared up for me, and it should not be an issue. So right there, I was like, oh, thank God, this sounds good, right? This is good news. Now, at the same time, overnight, I also got another email back from Atlas themselves, the American PR department, okay? And yet they came back to me and said, Phil, thank you very much for contacting us. We're going to work to get this strike removed for you. And I was like, wow, that's great news. But of course, this leaves lingering questions, right? The lingering questions are, why did the strike get issued to begin with? Why is there such mass miscommunication within Atlas as a company that they're putting up copyright strikes against multiple YouTubers for playing Persona 5 when there's clear-cut guidelines on the internet saying that you can do a Let's Play up to a certain point? It just doesn't, it doesn't make sense, all right? <clears throat> so, I went back to Atlas, and I said... Thank you very much for looking into this. I'm very much being, you know, appreciative of this, okay? But, you know, I need more information from you. I need to know why this happened and what's going to happen because my concern is that if I try to continue to play Persona 5, even within the guidelines that you've set, then I'm going to get more copyright strikes against my channel. And sorry, but, you know, I can't. I can't risk getting my entire channel shut down and or losing my partnership with a, a partnership company over copyright strikes that are bullshit, okay? I got another response from Atlas. And they said, Phil, you know what? Your concerns are 100% valid and we agree with you. Um, we're on the same page as you. We don't know why the parent company of Atlas is issuing these copyright strikes. Because it doesn't make sense. Why would you issue them just to, just to when you get a counter notice, just, you know, cancel them? It doesn't even make sense why they're doing it. So they're actually, the U.S. branch of Atlas is looking into this to get more answers because even they don't understand it. It makes no sense according to what they've been told from their own parent company to put out there as criteria for making videos. It doesn't make sense that the parent company's doing this, okay? They just don't understand it. So that being said, um, they said, we are fans of our fans, and obviously if you love Persona 5, we're happy. We want you to continue your playthrough, but we need to, to, to get more answers for you, all right? So in the meantime, I went back to Curse again, and I explained to Curse that Atlas has said that they're going to work to get these copyright strikes, uh, you know, cleared up. And Curse was like, great news, you know, let us know how it goes. And again, if you have issues and it doesn't get cleared up, let us know and we're going to do what we can on our end. <sighs> so. The good news is, at least from what, from all this information that I've absorbed overnight, that it does seem like it's, it's just really bad communication. I'm not a big YouTuber who's going to, like, go to court with Atlas. I just want the thing resolved and I move on positively. But what if there was a big-ass YouTuber, right, who gets millions of views on every video they do, and because they lose a partnership with a partnership network, or maybe their channel even gets temporarily blocked or shut down because of multiple copyright strikes, they potentially could sue Atlas for millions of dollars. Because that is actually illegal what they're doing, and it's inflammatory to their business that's affecting them negatively. Like, you could sue for big money. You know what I mean? You could. And it just doesn't make any sense to me. Like, in my head, you know what I mean? It's just like... I... It blows my mind. Hopefully, this is the end of it. But, you know, some people already are asking me, Phil, so this means you're immediately making the Persona 5 playthrough public and you're going to continue to play through, right? Wrong. <laughs> no. Listen, guys. Um, I love the game. 
I want to keep playing the game. But until I get some definitive answer from Atlas on what the hell is going on and how they could still give me a copyright strike when I'm doing what I'm what they told me to do, I can't. I can't. It's too much of a risk. I can't risk getting DSP Gaming shut down. I can't risk losing a partnership. Because they don't know what they're doing as a company. They're so, I don't know, disorganized or whatever, you know? And you get it from the horse's mouth, from the U.S. side of the company. They don't understand what's going on. That's bad. <laughs> so I can't. I just can't. I can't risk it. I can't go forward playing Persona 5. I can't go forward playing any Atlas games. I just can't. It's too much of a risk. I can't lose everything over this. You know, if they want to come back to me and say, Phil, we got our answer. It was an error. And they said they won't do it again to you. Okay, great. Now I have it in writing. <clears throat> so if it does happen again, I got them. You know what I mean? They don't have a leg to stand on. But as it stands, there's no way. There's no way that I could chance it. Um, and, you know, I'm not trying to be negative about the company. I don't understand. I just don't understand. I don't understand the situation and that they could be so out of communication with each other that you got one side saying one thing and one side doing another. So, I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. I hope to get an answer. If I don't get an answer, that's it for Atlas, guys. I, I don't know what else to say. I can't. There's not much I can do about it, you know? There's not. I, I have to make a, an executive decision on, on protecting myself and allowing myself to continue doing this. <laughs> Here's what I got to talk about. Um, right now, I just received another several complaints from people who are viewers who I recognize their names. And they're saying that people are being nasty in the stream chat. In particular, that people are like cheering and doing stuff and getting insulted in the stream chat immediately afterwards. Okay? I'm not going to put up with it anymore. Alright? I'm done with it. And right now, I can tell you right now, in fact... Um, Someone's about to get permanently banned because I've had enough of the shit. And I gave them a chance, and obviously they didn't fucking learn. I'm not gonna have people who I'm recognizing as regulars to the stream, who are regular cheerers, by the way, uh, writing me emails saying that you guys are being fucking nasty. I'm just not gonna put up with it. I'm not. So, the next time I see it, you're gone. And I'm gonna ask right now anyone who is a mod, I know that Bitha is here, anyone who's a mod here today, and moving forward, to be more strict. Because I'm not. I'm not gonna have people who are saying, we're coming to your streams, we wanna have fun. You know, we're regular cheerers, and we come to the stream, and at the beginning of the stream, we're trying to be positive, and people are being nasty to us. Uh, I'm not putting up with that shit anymore. So, I'm no longer going to have any more uh, tolerance for it. If you see someone cheer, and you have nothing to fucking positive say about it, then don't say anything at all about it. I'm not. I don't want to see any sarcastic comments. I don't want to see any insults. Nothing. I'm not, Oh, I, I made an insulting comment, but I put a kappa face at the end of it, so that, that protects me, right? No, fuck you. I've had enough. I've seriously had enough. I'm not. I'm not going to put up with this anymore. People are telling me they love my streams, but they come and they're having this toxic atmosphere if they do anything positive in the stream chat. No. Enough is enough. I'm not. I'm not going to have regular people who are here to watch and enjoy and be positive and, you know, and cheer and allow me to keep doing this daily to tell me that they're having a negative experience because of a bunch of fucking assholes. No more. No more. So, this is it. I'm laying down the law. Yeah. So, you're sloth. He says, well, everyone here is sarcastic. Yeah, and that's what's got to fucking change, Dingleberry. That's what I'm saying. You're creating a toxic environment for people who actually want to come and be f positive and have fun. Because you're constantly being s sarcastic and negative. You can't. I'm not going to put up with it. If I see it, you're gone. I'm not kidding. This is not a joke anymore. I mean, wise up. Use your fucking head, dude. Oh my god, no. Now I'm really mad. X game opponents, well, they don't have to look at stream chat. Oh, uh, fuck you. It's my stream chat. If people want to come here and be positive, they have every fucking right to be. And sorry, they get priority over people who want to be dickheads. Who the fuck are you to tell me that people who want to come here and be positive and support me can't chat? And they should ignore it. Dude, get the fuck out. Seriously, if that's your attitude, leave right now. I'm serious. Leave right the fuck now and don't come back. Get the fuck out. <clears throat> so that's it. No more bullshit. No more chances. You're here and you're nasty. You're gone. Zero tolerance. <clears throat> so there. I laid down the law, folks. I'm not. I'm seriously not even going to mention it again. I'm just going to ban. That's going to be it. So, do, I, serious. Be nice to each other. Don't insult each other. You just got to be civil. I can't be getting messages from people who I recognize who are regulars here 
trying to be nice, cheering, and they tell me that they got harassed today when they fucking cheered, and they can't put up with it, and they're not going to come to the streams anymore if it kicks up. I can't, I can't, I can't have it. I'm, I, you know? We, I've had, been through enough this year enough, please. I've been through enough. I don't need more bullshit. Alright, I'm not dead, but I swear to God, I wish I fucking was.